Hey Dumb Please, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into some more crazy topics being talked about online. I love it when people talk about my babies, BTS and Blackpink. Just maybe not always in this way. But there was an instance that had gone viral and resurfaced of Jimin and Jisoo interacting with each other. I also want to talk about J-Hope giving up on dancing on their new TV show episode. So grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be the first leave your hate comment, please make sure it's subscribe button and that will finish but also so you can be first to do so now let's jump into it the first thing i want to talk about is of course what is going on with jimin and jisoo bts and blackpink are probably the biggest k-pop stars right now and i would argue and say the biggest stars in general right now a lot of american artists want to work with them and make music with them so they're a good representation of south korea right now now a lot of people would like to see them collab as obviously if blinks and armies came together the world would probably explode like think of the records that could literally be broken they both constantly smash each other's records and they could probably create a record so high it would be almost impossible to break. However, not only do they rarely speak to each other, they don't really ever cross paths. They don't usually go to the same award shows together too often and they definitely don't do any type of work together. There was one time when Tan did something with Jisoo, like helping present and that was it. They obviously know each other. They probably admire each other's work, but they stay far away from each other so they can avoid any type of rumors or potential drama. This is obviously smart. We can't have my husbands and wives seen talking to each other. Of course there's gonna be drama. News is gonna be like, but they were married to Dave and now they're together. And it's like, no, that's cheating. But at the end of the year, South Korea has this end of the year ceremony for idols. This is the Eminent Music Awards, I believe. And of course, BTS and Blackpink are invited to attend. And funny enough, for this particular one, they have BTS and Blackpink sit right by each other. This moment that got fans a little crazy was a moment where you could see G Jisoo whispered to Jenny about something and a lot of people think that Jimin heard what was said and started laughing as you can visually see him start to smile. I was so curious as to what was said. A lot of people have theories as to what happened after. So Jimin actually leaned in later and said something to Jisoo's ear. Jisoo actually played it off so well. She looked like she was fixing her hair, but she turned her ear to Jimin and Jimin said something. People on the tweetster were speculating this. He said, I know about Jenny and Kai, period. No tampon. I've solved K-pop's biggest secret. Give me my trophy. Maybe. Maybe not. Quite funny, actually. This came out obviously before the announcement of G-Dragon and Jenny. Now, while people thought it could have just been a friendly interaction, there were a lot of people that took this as evidence that Jisoo and Jimin were secretly dating. Of course, because why not? Just crushed my soul, making me paranoid to see my husbands and wives cheating on me. So rude. But I'm also curious on who it records these. Is it a fan that zooms in on Jisoo and Jimin and holds the camera there the entire ceremony? Are these events private? Or let us peasants in to breathe the same air as our queens and kings. Anywho, back to the Jimin stir and Jisoo stir. We will never know what was actually being said at that award show and what Jimin was actually laughing about. But it was definitely fun to see for me because even if they aren't dating, I don't think they are. I find it genuinely so relieving that they acknowledge each other and like each other and the drama didn't make them hate each other. You know what I mean? People also thought this was one of the dating moments as well as another moment that actually went viral on the tweetster. Jisoo and Jimin had both posted a selfie, not together, but Jisoo posted one with a hat and French hat because she is so fancy. Now Jimin posted a selfie with the same looking hat. Of course people think they're dating because they think it could be the same hat like they loaned it to each other or they could just be besties that share hats. Why don't people assume that? One person on the tweets that wrote, that's why it looks so familiar. The hat is about the same shape but I think it's different material. Jimin is more corduroy material and Jisoo looks like it's velvet. It could be lighting but that's what it appears to me. So it's probably not the same hat. Also I'm beginning to think there is like the same stylist with in all K-pop because a lot of idols wear similar looks and stylists could often recycle the same theme and give it to various artists. We also need to take in consideration that not everything an idol wears is theirs. It's sometimes gifted to them or just worn for the sake of the live stream or TV show. They do not own it unless they say they bought it, obviously. I hope to see more award shows in the future and more interactions. It's sad to see that they have to pretend to talk to each other or try to hide it. I think they should be allowed to be friends and be with each other in a cool, chill way. I was very happy and relieved to see that there wasn't any hate towards Jenny for the whole G-Dragon dating thing. The hate was over whether G-Dragon should be dating her, but it wasn't so much Jenny should get away from G-Dragon because G-Dragon is mine. So that was definitely different and cute. BTS has their reality show called Run BTS. It's currently my favorite weekly series to watch. I have done some reactions to Run BTS on my Patreon, as well as other reality TV shows BTS does. It's a fun time 
to fangirl over there. But there is this new episode, I believe it's episode 134. This was a fun episode as all the episodes BTS plays fun games and we can kind of play along with them. This one was that BTS members had to guess the staff's dance moves to figure out which dance the moves came from. Arm quickly said that J-Hope would get this immediately because he is the best dancer of the group. Jimin definitely I think gets a lot more recognition for being a good dancer. I think J-Hope gets less shine with that. I could be wrong but it's my opinion. I hope that changes because I think J-Hope is seriously underrated. He is really amazing. But surprisingly it wasn't J-Hope who got all the dance moves correct. In fact it was none other than our Jin star. I love that. Jin is getting shine for his amazing skills now. He definitely also does not get enough shine and definitely not enough credit for his amazing dancing. He gets credit for being handsome. We know that. We appreciate it and we agree. But his dancing? Now he don't get enough credit for how amazing he is at that. So this proves he is able to recognize his dance moves and also how many hours he must have been putting into these dance moves to memorize it so he can see it and know it. My theory is that the better you are at dancing, like for example J-Hope and even Lisa from Blackpink, has said that she has tried not to think about dancing. So you just see the moves and then you do it. So if someone were to show you the dance, you might not actually know it from the top of your head. But if you were able to do it, you'd nail it through like body memory. But I'm not a dancer. Any dancers here? Definitely let me know if that's how that works. So it was Jin in first place getting six right, Jonko getting three, Jimin getting two, and J-Hope and V got one point each. However, what was funny about this is that Jimin immediately joked J-Hope should give up his title as best dancer in group and maybe give it to Jin. I love that. Jin definitely talked about his struggles with dancing and how difficult it is for him. But to see him guess and know the dance moves front to back really shows how hard he practices. Whereas maybe someone like J-Hope who can get it right away doesn't have to practice or think too much about it. And I commend Jin for his hard work. I definitely could not do it at all. And Jin and all the members have proved how amazing they are, even if Jin struggles with dancing. He is still better than 99% of people in the world. Us normies can't compete with BTS members dancing. It's so much for us. I also wanted to see what some people were saying about this. One person on L Tweetster wrote, 52 seconds of Master of Dance, Kim Sok Jin guessing all correct answers and shining like a star tonight like always. Yes, he shines like the star he is. He deserves to be king. It's funny because it seems like he was even surprised every single time he got an answer correct. He was like, oh, I got it right. That's right, honey boo boo child. You got it right because you're amazing. I don't think I would get any of them right. I don't know anything about dancing, dude. You could tell me the simplest moves and I would literally mess it up. I'm just so stiff. It doesn't work. Like I'll look into the mirror after I do one dance move. Why does Jin look like that? And why do I look like that? It's not fair, you know? Jin is blessed. He is a hardworking soul. Big claps and big reps to both Jin and all the members. They did a great job. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought. So I'll leave it in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring it this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon. I upload a lot of exclusive content over there, like reaction videos that I can't upload on here because they will get taken down or copyrighted. So I do keep it over there. You can get reaction videos like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you would like to see over there. Link is in the top description down below. We also have a great and fun time interacting with each other over there as well. And anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel, helps make better videos on here. I have a video over there explaining that, which is free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.